Good evening and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts, and Tyler Walkowitz here tonight at the East Hampton uh, Eagles High School. And we're in the gym. We're, it's an away game. This is going to be an exciting matchup, Mason, here tonight. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, firstly, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Albert Hearing Services, improving one year at a time, and uh, Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FGAT Sports. And we wouldn't be able to be here tonight without our sponsors, right? And we're always looking for more as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you guys have any way that you'd like to support us, any uh, companies that you're involved in, uh, definitely uh, reach out, you know, that sort of thing. We yeah. always appreciate the support. Yeah. And we're glad to be here tonight. I mean, uh, you know, Frontier, they're 13-2 and two on the season. They're coming off an exciting win that went over to o went into overtime yeah. against the... Uh, um, it was Belchertown, Belchertown, I think, Town. that was yeah. playing, yeah. So, and on the other side of things, we have uh, a very similar record for the Eagles, 11 and two. And so both of these teams, they've only lost two games this season. Um, they also had a really strong start to their season. They both won their first eight games in a row before losing their ninth. Yeah. And so uh, for the Red Hawks, their the eighth game that the ninth game that they lost was to East Hampton. It was a home game. They lost 54 to 51. And there's a couple big things about that. Number one, I mean, it was a close game. Um, and number two, uh, we were just talking to uh, Coach Michon right before uh, we started this stream. That broke uh, the r girls' team. Um, it was some like two-year win streak at home. Oh, wow. So that was a really devastating loss for them. And so they have a personal vendetta with this team is what he told me. And they're coming here to return the favor to the Eagles tonight. Yeah, I mean, the Hawks, they're on a five-game win streak. Yep. You know, they're only two losses on the season. We're to East Hampton, which they lost. They could have gone into overtime, and yeah. that was just unfortunate. They lost 54-51. to 51. And the other game, they lost to Lennox, which that's also another team they're going to face on Tuesday night at yeah, home. Yeah, it's their next game. And it's senior night. So that'll be yeah. big. Oh, and we want the fans to be there. Uh, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's going to be a great game here tonight, Mason. Absolutely. And, um, you know, another thing is these two teams, I would not be surprised if they – played in the fa uh, playoffs once again. Oh, no, d definitely. I mean, they're in the same division, first of all. So definitely in the states tournament. They're both highly ranked in um, the power rankings right now. Frontier in seventh place uh, in Division Four. East Hampton is in ninth place. So they're both pretty high up there, um, and they're definitely qualifying for the states tournament. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see them in uh, maybe the Sweet 16 or something like that. Yeah. And there's some couple players to look out for, too. Uh, Skylar Steele, she needs uh, one three-pointer, and she has 100 points on the season. Yeah. So she's got 97 points right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other two big scores for Frontier is uh, Captain Haley Hakoski. She has 130 points on the season. And Claire Kirkendall, she has 136 points. So that's yeah. those are two huge players for Frontier, and they need them tonight. They need to have a good game in order to get through this tough uh, East Hampton team. Yeah, so. absolutely. And tough is a great word to describe them, Tom. They have three big scorers that Frontier needs to watch out for, and all they shoot from all over the court. Uh, they have Kaylee Downey, who's one of their captains. She's scored 172 points on the season. She's their big three-point shooter, I'm pretty sure. Then uh, Christina Raymond, more mid-range, 123 points on the season. And then with 129, it's Sofia Faginski. I saw her during the warm-up. She was practicing a lot of uh, layups, short-range shots, right under the hoop. So I'm expecting her to be their big uh, center, getting all the rebounds and just you know putting up those second-chance opportunities for East Hampton. Yeah, and now we have about like a minute and 20 seconds before they really start. So, yeah. you know, we can... We can talk all live long day we want here, but you know we'll, we'll um, you know we'll kind of I'll, I'll I'll say the starters for at least Frontier before yeah. it's uh, Skylar Steele she's gonna be starting Claire Kirkendall Harper Modesto uh, Liv Michon and Haley Hakoski and she's one of the captains uh, for Frontier as well as one of the seniors so they're gonna do the starting lineups as well as the national anthem we'll be right back you're watching Frontier Community Access Television we'll take. running out of stuff to say, so I just kind of 
Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Please ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior, the behavior of those around you. And if you require assistance, call upon a school official. Now here are your starting lineups. We begin first with the visitors from Frontier. At guard, number 21, Olivia Bashan. At guard, number 11, Claire Kirkendall. At center, number 15, Harper Modesto. At forward, number 10, Skyler Steele. And at forward, number 22, Heyman Hukowski. Frontier is coached by Dave Mashan. Now here are your Eagles. At forward, number two, Simone Young. At guard, number three, Keely Downey. At guard, number 12, Grace Pepper Dallas. At forward, number 24, Christine Raymond. And at center, number 44, Sophia Fuchinski. The Eagles are coached by Brian Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, uh, Ben Roberts, and Tyler Markowitz here tonight at the East Hampton Gymnasium. So it's going to be a great he game here tonight, Mason. We've already talked a bunch about their stats and whatnot for Frontier. And, you know, I mean, both these teams, like you said, are very similar. So we're going to see what happens yeah. here tonight and uh, should be underway very shortly. Yeah, and some that um, Coach Michon was talking to me about as well, besides uh, having a vendetta with this team, is he wants this. He wants the Red Hawks to come out really strong tonight because that was one of the reasons why they couldn't pull off the win in the previous game. Yeah. They had at one point a ten point deficit to the Eagles, and so he wants them to come out strong and force the Eagles to have to come back instead this game. Yeah, and I'm sure this is going to be a close one here tonight. It looks like. Uh Sophia uh, Frajinski and Liv Michon will be jumping center here um, for the ball. Uh, now I think we're just waiting for the, the, the officials and I believe so. Getting the ball. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tip is won by Michon over to Modesto. Download a steal. Back pass over to Hukoski, no good. Oh. Rebound goes to Fajinski. So going the other way now and uh, is bringing up the key is number three, Kaylee Downey, one of the captains for the Eagles. She gets the screen, she'll pass it over the corner. Uh, now it is uh, Papadellis down low and Sophia Fajinski gets fouled going up to the rim. So that foul is gonna be on Skylar Steele. And I think that that's going to be one of the big uh, 
points of strategy we see from East Hampton tonight, especially with such a high score as Fajinski. Yeah. So she'll go one for two here. Or, well, if she makes the second one. Yeah. <laughs> she does not. Yeah, so she goes over two there, the line, and looks like a jump ball. I wasn't sure who had it there, Mason, but. It was a good scramble put together by the Red Hawks, trying to get that rebound. Yes, 7.33 to go, inbound here by the Eagles. Out to number 12, Grace Bobadella. She'll take a three. No good. Rebound. Goes the jump ball. That was a long jump ball call. Yeah. You yeah. know, we, we were talking to uh, Brian yeah. Miller, the East Hampton coach, earlier when we just got here to start setting up. And we were saying, oh, I hate it when they call the jump ball right away. But that was one of the longer jump ball calls I've seen. Yeah. That, you're exactly right. Nice little three-man weave there. Kirkendall will have it. Nice defense by the Eagles. Kirkendall gets steal, steal, nice catch, shoot, no good. Or shot, no good. And going the other way now is number three, Kaylee Downey. And nice shot, no good rebound. Kirkendall, the shot, I think it was by Christine Raymond. Going the other way, Michonne for three. That won't go. And getting the rebound is number three, Kaylee Downey. Downey, shot, three. Woo! Yeah, Mason, I mean, that one you could tell kind of was going in as soon as she shot that one. So. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's been a really good defensive uh, first minute and a half of this game, but then Kaylee Downer just breaks through it all. Nice give and go to uh, Koski, and they can't buy a basket, Frontier. Going the other way, one-on-one, -on -one, and she's fouled. I think that'll be on Kirkendall. This is interesting that Frontier is yet to score. I mean, they've had some opportunities. They just cannot find the basket. Yeah, you gotta wonder what's stopping them in the paint, especially with some opportunities from Mikowski. And that's number two, Simone Young, one of the starters. She'll go at least one for two. We'll see if she can make her second one here. And yeah, she'll make them both. So two for two at the line. That puts uh, a five nothing lead with about 6.20 left to go here in the East Hampton gym. Haley with the ball over to Kirkendall. She looked for a three. She'll drive in, take a jumper. No good. Rebound goes to Michonne. Michonne over to Kirkendall now. Back to Michonne. Over to wide open Skylar Steele for three. Yep. Oh, man. And a good re uh, retaliation shot by Skylar Steele. This is a great look. She took her time with it, too, and she could afford it. And you got to really credit the rebound there by Michonne. That's what got the ball back, and it was a good offensive board. Rebounds do a lot. With the ball now is Grace, Grace Papadellis. Oh. Was that Skylar Steele with the steal? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, she actually leads the team in steals this season. That is ironic. <laughs> she, she's with it right now. She has the ball. Over to Kirkendall. Kirkendall gets a screen from Modesto. Over to Michonne. Block uh. pass goes to uh, an, another. That was a risky pass. but Yeah, I think I might have gotten tipped. Now it's uh, Christine Raymond with it. And now out, shot three, no good. She'll get her own rebound, that's Kaylee Downey. And a nice give and go to Sophia Fajinski, and she'll get her first two points on the night. Seven to three, the Eagles lead by four. That's, the, that's exactly the kind of play that I was expecting to see from Fajinski this game, just giving it to her in the paint, and nice, easy, short range shot for her. Oh, Kirkendall for three, no good, that won't go. Michonne crashed the boards, and Haley gets fouled. So, Michonne making things happen for the Hawks right now. That's gonna be uh, Sophia Fajinski's first foul. We've already been talking about her a little bit. That's someone you don't want to be fouling out. Yeah. Yeah, and Haley will miss her first. We'll see if she can make her second here. Still a four-point lead for the Eagles. Oh, nice rebound. Oh, unfortunate. The Steele tried to get the rebound there, but Downey comes down with it. And she has three or four rebounds already. She's putting in some great effort. Number 12, Grace Papadellis with a download. Simone Young and a steal by Kirkendall going the other way now. She'll choose to slow it down, though. 
Kirkendall had, has Skylar Steele. Now she'll give it to her. Steele will drive and... Mm. I, think she, I think she just lost the ball. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 4.19 to go, 7-3. Still a four-point lead for the Eagles, Mason. I mean, I said when we were about a minute and a half in, it's a pretty defensive game so far. I think that both teams have the mindset of preventing scoring from the other team, but Kaylee Downey with another two points. Going to make it a six-point lead now. That was Downey with the basket. Yeah, and uh, now it's Haley with it. She has an open Mashawn. Mashawn's calling for the ball. Claire will take the three. No good. Mashawn was calling for the ball all she's day. Been, but she's been open a couple of times on the other side of the court. Steel can't find the basket. This is not good. Nine to three right now with three thirty-five pretty much. And it's gonna be Christine Raymond with it now. Kaylee Downey will sl slow it down for the Eagles. Downey will give it to Raymond. Raymond will drive. Go to the hoop. No good. Basket rebound. Falls into I guess uh, Downey got it there, and Sophia Vajinsky has four points on the night. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a good what that's a good place timeout by uh, Coach Mashad. Your team's just not getting any rebounds, and you know you can score as many points as you want, but you miss one shot, and then you don't get that second chance. You know it's really going to end up costing you this game, and right now it's costing the Red Hawks an eight-point lead. Yeah, I mean eleven to three. I mean what they really need to do, Mason, is. Uh, Skylar Steele, she's got the only points for him on the night. Um, yeah. It's it's almost like, I don't know, what it, it, maybe it's nerves or something. I, I can't tell you. It might be. About. I mean, they certainly have some high expectations for themselves in this game. Uh, you know, getting a win against East Hampton would be huge for them in this season. Uh, keeping uh, themselves in a good position for uh, the playoffs as well as, you know, just kind of a morale boost going into the – what I would argue is the bigger game against Lennox. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because Lennox right now is the only team that is ranked above them in their conference. So if they can beat East Hampton, that puts them in a really good position, keeps them on that streak. Yeah, and you're, you're exactly right. Well, I'll quickly thank our sponsors. Albert Hearing Services, they, improving, they improve lives one year at a time, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. So. I will say I think that they might need to look at uh, Michonne a little bit more. I mean, I'm sure Coach Mashon <laughs> yeah. is saying something in there, but you know, we'll see what they the play they draw up there. And uh, Harper at it now. Kirkendall in corner three. Oh, getting the rebound is Downey, and I I think that Downey has five oh, rebounds man. on the night. Coast to coast is Kaylee Downey. She's got seven on the night. Thirteen to three, a ten point lead for the Eagles. This is not good, Mason. No, not at all. I mean, there's a reason why Kaylee Downey is one of the senior captains for the Eagles. Mashawn over to, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Koski. Kirkendall with it now, top of the key. Steele will take a three. Yeah. Oh, wow. man. And, oh, you know what we forgot to mention? Oh, yeah. Skylar Steele, <laughs> she's got now 103 points. With that three she scored early yeah. in the game, she made 100 points on the season. So, good she's, season. Yeah. She's got a great eye for the three-point line right now. Yeah, I mean, she's got all Frontier's points, so feed her if she's making them. Young goes to the basket. She gets blocked by Hukowski, and this time oh. she gets fouled. It may have been Amashan. I think it was Amashan. Let's see who they... Yeah. Or no, 20, 21? Yeah, that's Mashawn. Yeah. That will be their third foul of this... Uh, <laughs> this quarter. <laughs> and Young, uh, Simone Young has not missed a three throw shot. She's three for three right now. It's definitely a tough spot to be in right now for the Red Hawks. I mean, like, this is exactly what Coach Michon was saying he didn't want to have happened. Yeah, this is not good. Yep. So she'll make two, two for two. I guess you do not want her on the line tonight. So she's got, she's got four with the, making both of those. Nine point lead. For the Eagles, Kirkendall over to Michonne. Steele now with it in the corner. She'll take it to the top. Kirkendall over to Steele. Steele will drive over to Michonne. Now Molly Gates. Molly Gates back to Michonne. She thought about it. Now into Molly Gates. Now over to Hakoski. Steele 
for three. No oh. good. Goes out of bounds. Going to stay Frontier's ball. That was, that was a lot of passing. <laughs> yeah, it was another good look from Skyler Steele, just a little bit to the right this time. But there was a lot of there was a couple scary moments where they got trapped in the corners too. Yeah, I mean, all it takes is getting finding one open person. Hakoski, she just needed to go up to the hoop there. Out to Steele now. Steele will look three. She drives. She goes to the hoop. No foul. And rebound, Christine Raymond. Going the other way now. Down, uh, Simone Young. No foul called there. And ball gets batted around. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 113, 15 to six. Uh, you know, Frontier's got to figure out something quick, Mason. Yeah, they really do. I mean, I don't know if they'll be able to figure something out but in this minute five left in the quarter, but I think hopefully Michonne's going to be talking to them yep. in between the quarters, and hopefully they can get something going, specifically with the rebounds. This is really good defense by the Eagles so far. Oh, yeah. Kirkendall with it. Over to Hakoski. She'll take a three. No good. Rebound. Mashawn batted it to Kirkendall. Steele, she'll drive to the basket, go up. And that'll be good. Skylar Steele making things happen for the Red Hawks. She has all eight points. 15 to eight. Seven point lead for the Eagles. We'll see if they can respond. Raymond for two. No good. Rebound. Kirkendall. Kirkendall will slow it down. We got 20, 20 seconds about now. Steele. Pump fake. Now over to Kirkendall. Kirkendall, 15 seconds. Back out to Steele, top of the key. Shot clock's off. Over we to Steele. Got Michonne. Yep. Molly Gates. Oh, shot. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Good job by Molly. Oh, they got to get back. 15, no shot. No shot. Shocking it up there was number three, Kaylee Downey, but that'll end the first quarter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skylar Steele's got eight points in the first quarter for the Hawks, so she leads it, both teams in scoring. And Molly Gates, yes, she, she has, does. She has two at that last. They pretty much got the last shot. Yeah, uh, I or mean, last make almost. We don't see Molly Gates making a lot of points on the court. She contributes to the team in a lot of different ways that are equally as important, of course. But um, to see her getting points, you know. Not necessarily that it's bad that she's getting points, but it also <laughs> is she I think that her and Skylar Steele were realizing what they need to be doing to break through East Hampton's defense and also kind of make them a little bit unstable, and that's get into the paint, which exactly that's exactly what East Hampton is trying to prevent. Yeah, and something Frontier was struggling with there in the first quarter was uh at the beginning, they just did not look themselves almost. Yeah. And it was just weird. But then after that timeout, they kind of settled down and they got things rolling. So quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services, improving they improve one li or improve lives one year at a time. Uh, you can call 413-774-0100 and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. And if you're looking to become a sponsor, you know, let us know. So, yeah, always looking for more sponsors. 15 to 10 as we go to the second quarter. We'll play another eight minutes here. And the, and the Eagles lead by five. Young, down low to Sophia Vajinski. She'll go shot, no good. Rebound goes to Kirkendall. Kirkendall, I think has two rebounds on the night. Kirkendall, all the way Ooh. down the court. Wendy Campbell, she gets her first minutes here. Campbell, over to Kirkendall now. She gets a screen from Campbell. Now down, over to Modesto, shot. That'll bounce around. Hey. See, that's exactly what they need to be doing, Tom. They, you penetrate the defense, get into the paint, and you know you're going to come up with results. And now it's a three-point game. Yeah, and they're just right back in it. Oh, Fajinski goes to the basket. Block. Oh. Shot, kind of. By, I think it was Modesto or Molly Gates. They're yeah. both in there. And Kirkenall will slow it down again for the Hawks. We have about seven. We've played about 55 seconds. Molly Gates goes to the oh. basket. No good. And I'm not sure who's going to pick up the foul there, but... Fajinski got the uh, rebound. That'll be the first foul. And it looks mm -hmm. like it's going to be on Molly Gates, Mason. It's not often that you see that from her either. I mean, she's a pretty clean player. Yep. It's number 10, uh, Addison ba Bear, or Barr, 
Now Raymond with it. Raymond, she'll drive to the hoop. Goes up, shot, no good, no foul called, and ball's loose. And number 10, uh, Barr comes down with it. Barr over to Raymond. Raymond will take a three. No good. Almost had, and Simone Young comes with down the rebound. And they're going to call, I guess, Ooh. Molly again. Yeah, for a hold. And our fans are right behind us, and they're not going yeah. to get the call. <laughs> Haley checks in for Molly. I mean, she's going to have to. Yeah. Kind of have to. Um, two quick fouls, and we. 6.36 to go, 15 12. Pajinski goes to shot. No good. Rebound goes Modesto. Hard for I Modesto. love this. This is some great defense Frontiers put together in this second quarter. Great, tight defense in the paint, preventing those shots from Fajinski. Yep. Oh, that was a little bit sloppy. Yeah. It, it was a good thought. It's just. Oh, I guess it was yeah, tipped it, out. I thought it was going to be. Uh, I guess Skyler State was going kind of underneath the basket with the ball and it got, must have went off one of the Eagles players. Haley looking for someone to inbound, finds Modesto at the top of the key. 6.20 to go. Modesto over to Haley now. Haley finds Claire Kirkendall, 15 on the shot clock, over to Skyler Steele. Steele with it. She drives over to Whitney Campbell. She'll drive <laughs> over to Kirkendall now. Kirkendall, good ball movement. Shot five clock at five. Steele. Three, no good, rebound, goes to Simone Young. They almost ran out of time there. Shot clock was at five when she took that. And a three here by Kaylee Downey, no good. Hakoski comes down with the rebound. What a resurgence we've seen from the Hawks. They're, I mean, they're back in it. We haven't seen a score in a little bit, but they are hanging in there and shutting down the Eagles' offense. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but the only basket came from, oh, nice move by Kirkendall. Oh! <laughs> Kirkendall will get her first points on the night. That'll make it 15-14 with 5.30 to go here in, in uh, the second quarter. Kaylee Downey now slowing it down. And Mason, this has been all frontier in the second quarter right now. Mm -hmm. And I lied, but <laughs> Simone Young goes to the basket. Ball's loose. Raymond comes down with it. Some of the fans wanted to travel on that. And honestly, I, mean, I think I might agree with them. I don't know. It's... It, it is tough to call it when you're, you're falling on top of the ball like if, that. If, but. I think if, if you're on the ground with the ball, I'm not sure. If you, as long as you don't move your body, I think it's not a travel. So I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, also, I have no idea. So <laughs> it is a, It's kind of a gray area in the rules, I feel like. But jump ball is called. So um, and, uh, Kirkendall brought it up there. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. Frontier only down by one now. Kirkendall over to Steele. Steele. Back to Kirkendall, looking for the open person. Jazzy Hayes, shot, no good. Oh. Harbor Modesto comes down with the board. And uh, Steele over to Jazzy Hayes, and she's fouled by Raymond. Oh, wow. 443. And uh, I think, yeah. It's going to be on, yeah, Raymond. She was right there. Mm -hmm. That could. I think it was just because she ran into her, kind of pushed her into the stands a little bit. Yeah. Kirkendall, and now Jazzy Hayes with it. She'll pass it over to Steele. A little give and go, and Raymond <laughs> tried to save it as she was reaching for it. Um, I think that bounced off of like two or three people's hands, all from East Hampton. Yeah, she, she tried to save it because it tipped off of her hand, but yeah, um, just unfortunate for her there. 431. Modesto finds Haley now. Haley over to Steele. Steele pump fakes. Oh, bad pass. And it I, I, yeah, she had Jazzy Hayes right to her right. And, man, and that Kaylee Downey, she's got nine on the night, leads both teams in scoring. 17-14, Mason. Steele, J Jazzy Hayes now. You got to be careful with those long passes. Yep. Kirkendall, they got 20 on the shot clock. Kirkendall over to Modesto. She had an open Jazzy Hayes. Kirkendall will take the three. Ooh. Yep. Claire Kirkendall's got five on the night now. And, and that is a tie game, Mason, 17 all. It's a great comeback we've seen from the Hawks. They were down by 10 points yeah. early in the first quarter. Downey now with Raymond. She'll go to the hoop. Jumper. No good. And... Rebound goes to Modesto. She's got a bunch of rebounds on the night. I, and 325 left to go here. 
Kirkendall will bring it up. It's been very fast basketball, so. Yeah. Although not a lot of steals. <laughs> As you say, that it almost was stolen. Almost. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I think what Frontier is struggling with, Mason, is uh, uh, like sloppy passes like that one. I mean, they just got to tighten that up. Um, 311 left to go, but it's all tied up. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally agree with you, Tom. They, they need to work on their passing. Uh, and I also think that they need to play to one of their biggest strengths, which is the depth of their bench. They have a, so many really skilled players, and I think that East Hampton, at least in terms of scoring, is kind of lacking in that department. Yeah, and I think Kylie or Kaylee uh, Darman was out there now for the Eagles. Hakoski got the rebound there. She has a couple of those on the night. 2.45 to go here in the first half. Kirkendall, and that's gonna be a moving screen on Kirkendall. Yeah. That was like right in front of us, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fans upset. <laughs> well, that's gonna be uh, Kirkendall's second. She's gotta be careful now. Yeah. 2.35 left to go, 17 all. And uh, Kaylee Downey will bring it up. Now number 12, Grace Papadellis with it. Back to Downey. Downey looking for someone. Finds Raymond. Raymond shot. No good. Modesto comes down with yet another rebound. I have her with four on the night. Could be wrong. So uh, now Kirk they've got Michonne again. Yep. Oh. I think that'll be on Raymond. Yeah, and... That'll be her second. I think only the team's third or fourth foul altogether. Yeah. Kirkendall to Modesto. Modesto will go to the hoop. Nice move. Oh, man. And that will be Frontier's, I think, first lead of the night. 19 to 17 with two minutes left to go. Simone Young. Oh, man. Wow, block shot by Modesto and going the other way. Kirkendall has Mashawn. Mashawn with three. Oh, oh, in come and out, on. in and out. But that's the rebound, no good. Kirkendall comes up, but no foul called. That was, she was all over her arm. Take it again. Oh, um, man. Good offensive board by Michonne, though. Hayes with it. And show, oh, and my one. Goodness. Oh, Count my it. goodness. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh. Mason, wow, wow. That was crazy. Oh. <laughs> good. Great job by Jazzy Hayes. I mean, you can't ask for more there. I mean, a bunch of rebounds. Uh, you know, Mashawn had one there. I, I don't know who else, but on top, maybe. <laughs> on top of it all, that is going to be Raymond's third foul that she oh, picks man. up. She she's she's counting up the fouls pretty fast, Tom. And Jazzy Hayes just did an absolutely fantastic job exploring the chaos that was in East Hampton's defense. Uh, oh, and Koski look at this with the offensive board there. And that's going to be a foul on <laughs> Kaylee Downey will pick up one. And I wow. think, yeah, that's going to be their fifth, fourth, fourth of this quarter. They, they were pretty, they played pretty clean they in, the, in the, the first quarter. They only had one in the first quarter, and now they're on the verge of giving Frontier a bonus. Yeah, and 130 left to go, so Frontier with the lead, and they want to hold on to it. How the tables have turned. <laughs> Hakoski with it. She'll get a screen from Kirkendall. Over to Jazzy Hayes now. Jazzy Hayes. She'll dribble it around. She's got about 15 seconds on the shot clock. Hakoski has it. Bad out of bounds. I mean, good defense. Yeah, that, that was that was some great hands. That was uh, Grace Papadillas who was yeah. on that play. So 12 seconds on the shot clock. I mean, they have, you know, little time to play with, but they got to get a quicker shot off. Kirkendall will have it. The bench telling her how much time she's got. Michonne over to Modesto. Over to Hayes. Hayes got to shoot. Now uh, Koski. Oh. Shot clock violation. It's I'm not going to lie. I thought she was going to make that. That, that would have been really <laughs> nice. Uh, 50 or 55 seconds left to go in the first uh, half. Downey over to Young. Young will go to the hoop. Uh, that was a travel. but And... Uh, um, rebound, Fajinski, and she'll get fouled. 
you know, Brian Miller's got to be happy about that. I feel like he's been waiting for a foul call. Um, the fouls have really been not going uh, East Hampton's as way I, in the yeah, past couple and, minutes. And like we talked about him, with, with him before the game started, as long as it's called both ways. Yeah. yeah. And Fredinski <laughs> will miss her first, or make her first. And we'll you know, I have... I have to agree with uh, Coach Miller on what he said and what he was talking to us about with the fouls. Just, you know, call it both ways. And, like, you know, you can, you can call some things that we won't all agree with, but, you know, as long as you call it both ways, you know, people will be all right with it. Yeah. And it would – oh, no. Well, what I was going to say is kind of go what off you were saying is that, you know, as, as long as no one's getting injured. Right? Yes. As long as that's no the other big thing. Um, 30 seconds pretty much on the game clock, 22 on the shot, so 8.8 se or 8 second differential. Steele with a wide open three, no good. Ooh. Rebound goes to Modesto, put back good. Good job by Harper Modesto, she'll have six on the night. What a game for Modesto, getting rebounds and scoring ports on the other side of the court. 10 seconds, shot, three no good. That was by, I'm not too sure, number five. Oh. Steal, deep three. Oh, oh man! Oh wow! What a look from Skyler Steele in this first half. Holy smokes! Yeah, I think Harper Modesto. He either has uh, five or six rebounds. I, yeah, you know, 23-19 Frontier. They went into the second quarter. It was 15 to five, Mason. 15 to 10. 15 to 10. Oh yes, you're right. Yes, it would have been. <laughs> it would have been like uh, the, the it's like 15 to six or something. Yeah, and they scored two quick baskets then that first quarter, and then the second quarter, you know, they pulled away with it. They kind of figured things out. You yeah, know, and we'll and see what. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It it is a very low scoring game, and I think that that's to be expected. We were seeing uh, in the early stages of the first quarter a lot of defense, not a lot of successful shots. The, you know, the shot percentage on this game for both teams is going to be pretty low, I think. They have a lot of opportunities, but for whatever reason, it's just they're not making them. And, yeah. you know, you could point to a lot of reasons for that, but I think that the main reason just has to be with the nerves and the stakes of this game, um, which are both very high. And so, I mean, Frontier has done an excellent job of pulling ahead in this uh, second quarter, and I think that they really uh, started to figure out how to penetrate through um, – East Hampton's defense had a better vision of the court. I saw um, Hakoski, she um, was able to see Skyler Steele open in the yep. corner when a couple other people didn't. So compensating for, you know, a couple missteps that your teammates are making and, you know, being able to put those shots up, get those rebounds. And on that play, Modesto finished the job yeah. and got the uh, second chance basket there, which was really great. Uh, yeah. And going off that, I think, um, you know, that second quarter, that was Frontier's quarter. Absolutely. I mean, the first one they didn't, you know, they almost came out with, like we said earlier, just a little bit nervous or like something, you know, they weren't, almost they weren't fully ready. But, yeah. And, and, you know, in that second quarter they kind of locked in there and they're going into the uh, second half leading 23-19. Uh, so they're up by up by four. Yeah. Which this one will be close either way. I, you know, Definitely. Um, we had a two-point uh, – game at, as the final for the JV game. Oh, yeah, and yep. so, I, I mean, I always say JV sets the tone for varsity. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it's, you know, really comes down to the wire. Maybe. I mean, who knows? They went to overtime in their last game. May yeah, who knows? <laughs> maybe, I mean, no, maybe. No, you never know, Mason. And the nice thing is that instead of starting at 730, we're starting at 7 tonight. That is so, very nice. But, you yeah. know, anything can happen with the Red Hawks. <laughs> yep. We'll, uh, we're, we're, we'll, we'll take the break. Yeah. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Uh.
All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television at the East Hampton High School of the Eagles. Yeah. So, you know, it's nice sometimes doing these away games. It's nice because different crowd, different atmosphere than Goodnow Gymnasium. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not a ton of Frontier fans here tonight, but... I'm sure senior night, Tuesday night, your fans will be there. Oh, we, yeah. You know, hopefully, yeah. Mason, we, we will make a... If you um, don't show up to senior night, I mean, why show up at all? <laughs> like, <laughs> Or the playoffs. playoffs. Or the playoffs. Yeah, playoffs, too. <laughs> I mean, this team's going to the playoffs. Both, Yeah, both these teams are, I'm yes. pretty sure. And um, just one thing I'd like to mention is Simone Young, she's made she's 4 for 4 at the line, uh, and Sophia Fijinski's 2 for 4 at the line, and I think Haley uh, Koski's only foul shot only foul shooter for Frontier and she's over two but so right now the foul shots is what's kind of keeping the Eagles in this game right now so yeah the fouls have gone back and forth throughout this game and uh, there's a couple uh, missteps on the part of uh, the Eagles in the second quarter that they need to watch out for yeah and uh, yep the ref's going to call that so one thing I was going to mention too is uh you know, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. You know, it's, uh, it's just it's gone. It's gone. Um, anyways, we're in the third quarter now, and 7.51 to go, 23-19. Uh, and Kirkendall will bring it up. Over to Michonne now, back to Kirkendall. Kirkendall over to Hukoski. Harper over to Michonne now. Kirkendall back with it. Three. No good. Oh. Almost. And Simone Young comes down with the rebound. Come on. I mean, he's... Some great passing, great awareness from the Hawks. That's what you like to see. Shot, no good. That hit the top of the backboard. I'm not sure why that wasn't called anything. Yeah. Well, Grace Papadellas will get her first two points on the night. 21 to 23. That will put it in a one possession game. Hawks need a basket right here to keep the lead. Down to Haley from Kirkenall. Nice move, no good. Uh. Rebound. Stage Frontiers ball. I think it was off of uh, Sophia Fajinski's arm there. Yeah. Oh, I re kind of remembered what I was going to say. Is, yeah. uh, you know, coming into the second half, we're going to see what both teams had to change in order to kind of win this game. You know, we'll see what happens. Kirkenhall for three. <sighs> A little too much on that one. Yeah. Oh, loose, loose ball kind of. And Thought they uh, might jump on it. Uh, Kirkenhall will jump on it. Good job by Claire. Yeah. Oh, um, and I think Frontier wins it. Oh, look at that. Frontier putting up a great show on defense. I mean, they started their great defense second quarter, and they're doing a good job of uh, keeping it going strong early in the third so far. Yeah, and, and, and you know, the defense is... It's I, I, it's really going to be who wants who's going to play better defense tonight, and I think that's who's going to win the game. Absolutely, I 100% agree, Tom. Steal over to Kirkendall. Kirkendall, she's got about 15 seconds on the shot clock. We'll see what she can do with it. She's going to drive to the basket, go up, get fouled. It's a great job by Kirkendall. I mean, that's that's the exact thing that you wanted to do, get them in foul trouble, and I think that's going to be on Downey actually, which is another key player. Yep. And I think that will be her second. Yes. So now we have Downey with two and Raymond with three. Oh, and Kirkenhall's kind of got to make this three, though, to put it, you know, it, it'll make the Eagles want a three more yeah. than a, a two. But She absolutely does. Kirkenhall will miss that one as well. Oh. And rebound goes to Addison uh, Barr. Barr will bring it down. Simone Young. Has an open down. He was calling for the ball for a while. Yeah. And, I mean, you want to get it to that open man, the corner, across the court, anything like that. But at the same time, you got to watch those long passes because we saw them backfiring on the Red Hawks earlier in the game. They can be really dangerous. Yeah. And Frontier has not made a foul shot tonight. They're Jeez. 0 for 2 at the line. So, Kirk, Kirk, no, and it, nice give and go. But Sean will get the basket. Her first two points on the night as well. That'll bring it, bring it back up to a four-point lead for the Red Hawks. Now uh, down low, and Harper Modesto will c come up with a foul there. Yeah. I'm not sure what exactly happened, Mason, but. Yeah. 
No, yeah, I don't know what the call was on that either. Either way, it's their second foul and the team's first in this half. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting because, you know, that one, Haley pretty much caught the ball. I don't know. Yeah, it, it was, was interesting. Three from Downey, no good. And Michonne will come down with the re rebound and a steal by Fajinski. And she'll make that one. It was almost like they set up Fajinski yeah. there. <laughs> I mean, there's no surprise there. She is really dominant in that area of the court if she can get a shot off. Nice. Oh, Haley. Oh. Still fighting for the ball. That should stay. Yeah, it will. <laughs> and, and she fought three players over that ball, so. <laughs> Good job by Haley there, and 25-23, 5-22 to go in the third quarter, Mason. It's it's getting cl close now, so. It's a close game. Harper now tangled up. Harper needs an outlet pass. Haley over to Michonne. Michonne for, for three. Oh, oh no. And that'll be a That'll be a jump ball is what I was gonna say, but. That, uh, it should have been a jump ball. That's going to be Haley's. I think that's her first, yeah. What's interesting is actually Haley doesn't have a point on the night unless I'm wrong. No, you're right. She, she's been doing plenty of work on defense, though, making up for that. I mean, like, of course, we want to see her score some points and give Frontier a bigger lead, but, you know, she's been doing a lot of great work in the paint. Yeah, Simone Young goes to the basket. She'll make it. Tie game at 25 apiece with about five minutes left to go here in the third quarter, though. This is this is gonna. I feel like this is gonna come down to the wire. Oh, absolutely. And now let's see if Jazzy Hayes can get something going. Kirkendall with it over to Steele. Steele over to Modesto. Back to Steele. Steele has Hayes open. Hayes over to Haley. Haley back out to Hayes. Hayes will go baseline. Shot no good. Rebound. Oh, oh. that's gotta hurt. Kirkendall shot. Wow. Great job by. Claire Kirkendall was good concentration, and she's got seven on the night. Oh, yeah. She's just a serious threat from everywhere on the court, and wow. So Sophia Fajinski will now have her 10th point on, on the night, and it could be her 11th. Oh, she, could, she could give East Hampton the lead right now. And now Harper Modesto is going to come out. Molly right. Gates coming back in. They both have two fouls. Two huge players in the paint for the Red Hawks. Yeah, and I think that's the first time Harper's been subbed out this, this I could be wrong, but. There it is. Yeah, and Brzezinski will go one for one there, and that'll give the Eagles the lead back. Yeah. So, you know, this is the quarter that Frontier struggled with all season so far. Hakoski, three, no good. Gates with the rebound. Steel, jumper, no good. They can't find the basket right now. Haley comes. No jump ball. That was plenty of time for a jump. Oh, and they call a foul there. All right. Wow. And now the, a lot of the parents and fans behind us are very upset about this. <sighs> no. that foul. Frontier is starting to get into foul trouble. And, and I'm sure, you know, one more and they're in the, the, the bonus. So yeah. And I don't think Kay Kaylee Downey, she'll probably make at least one of these, so if not both. Yeah. We're getting a little stoppage. I think that there's a something, spill of something on the other side of the court. <laughs> I think it might have been when yeah. uh, Modesto hit the ground. Yeah, I mean, it, it happens. Yeah. Um, quick little stoppage in play. I mean, you know, they could take the, they could take a three point lead here. I wouldn't be surprised if they do, <laughs> Tom. Honestly, that's <laughs> Coach Brian Miller right there on cleanup duty. Yeah. <laughs> He's on double duty tonight. He's yeah. coaching in the <laughs> athletic director, so but um three fifty six to go, twenty eight to twenty seven, and Kaylee Downey has the ball in her hands now, so Oh I gotta say I'm surprised by that. You know, she's got so many points on this season. I just assume that, you know, she's such a threat at the yeah. free throw line. And Cam Camilla uh Corsello checks in for the Eagles. Yep, one for two. So I kind of was right. She made, 
She went one for two there, and that's a two-point lead now for the Eagles. And we'll see what the Hawks can do to respond to them. Really want a three right now. And that'll be Downey's 10th point on the night, too. Steele. Over to Hayes. Hayes over to Kirkenhall. She'll drive. I don't know how that was not called a foul. Rebound. And now, I, now I'm surprised that wasn't called a foul. Yeah. It was on Steele. But, oh, man. Shot three. No good. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little rowdy. It's almost like that um, Greenfield game. Yeah, I was just thinking of that. It's, you know... I think that the other thing about this third quarter is where the refs start being a little more lenient with their foul calls most of the time, and that's when things start to nice get Nice block oh by Haley. My. Haley Hakoski with another block on the night. Wow. Claire Kirkendall with it. She'll slow it down for the Hawks. 3.15 on the, in the third quarter, left to go. Whitney Campbell for three. No good. Haley gets the rebound. Haley out to Kirkendall. Three from Claire. No good. Oh. Rebound goes to Campbell. Out to Hayes. Over to Kirkendall now. She'll drive. Over to Haley. Nice give and go. And she'll get fouled. Oh. Uh, what? I don't know how many offensive boards Frontier got, but <laughs> they could not buy a basket there. I think Haley got one. Claire got one. And. Whitney Campbell all got yeah. one, so. And that foul is going to be on Corsello, who just checked in. Yeah, that'll be her first team second of this quarter. Oh, my God. For, I don't know when the last time Frontier was scored, but it's about a, it, it was a couple minutes ago. They've been on a drought for a little while, Tom, and, you know, it's... I got to say, I think that they just... There's something that's changed in their flow on offense. Yeah, and... Again, foul shots. I, again, they haven't made one all night, Frontier, so. Shot three, no good. Deep three there. Rebound. Bounce around, and Haley will come down with it. And I think that went off of Campbell's foot. Yeah. Haley was trying to keep. She tried to get control of the ball and just could not. But. 2.44 left to go. 29-27, two-point lead for the East Hampton Eagles. And Downey will have it now. Kaylee Downey will drop the play. Downey will get a screen from Rzinski. Good defense from Whitney Campbell. Now Simone Young has it. Simone will take a floater. No good. And good uh, defensive board by Claire Kirkendall. Haley with it. Over to Kirkendall. Shoot. And that will be a foul. Oh, there you go. And that will be Kaylee Downey's third. Third foul. Now she's starting to get in trouble. Two big names on the Eagles roster, Downey and Rajinski. And Raymond. She's got three. Raymond, too, yeah. Or, yeah, excuse me, I meant Raymond. Oh. I just read that. <laughs> Hayes, <laughs> Hayes with it. Over to Haley. Back to Hayes. Nice oh. give and go. Hit. Hayes, come there on. There we go. The scoreless drought is over from Jazzy Hayes, and she's got four on the night. That's what I'm talking about, man. All tied up 29-29, and we got about two minutes left to go in the third quarter. And now Pajinski with it at the top of the key. She'll give it over to Downey. Downey will have it, and out to uh, Darman. Darman with it. Darman over to, uh, down low to Pajinski anyways. Pajinski gets own rebound, put back, no good. Can't buy a basket there. And three, no good. And Haley gets wow. the defensive board. What a stand from the Hawks' defense. Kirkendall will have it. 1.30 to go. Hayes with it. She'll drive. Over to Whitney Campbell. Campbell. Over to Hayes. Hayes. 20 seconds on the shot clock. And Kirkendall will take it. No oh. good. And unfortunate. But... The, uh, uh, unfortunate streak of events for Frontier <laughs> there, you know, but 115 to go, 29 to 29. And inbounding it there was uh, Kay uh, Kaylee Darman, and Simone Young will bring, bring it up for the Eagles. Back over to Darman now, back to Young. Young will go to the hoop, rebound, gets her own one, and she gets fouled by Modesto. Yeah. Medessa's really got to be careful now. She's got three on the night, and I mean. Yeah, and uh, Simone Young has not missed a three throw shot, so. And that's why, I mean, like, you've already given him a bonus. 
Yeah, there yep. you go. She's five for five at the three throw line. And Molly Gates will have to check in for Harper Modesto. And she's going out to go to the bench not happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame her. A minute, oh, two, and there you go. She misses wow. her first. So she's five for six on the night at the line. I don't know what just happened there. This is a close call as the ball went out of bounds and they called it in Frontier's favor. Yeah. East Hampton wasn't very happy about it. And now we're under a minute to go. Yeah. 30 to 29. We'll see what Kirkendall can do here for the Hawks. She has it. Over to Hakoski. Nice give and go. Claire Kirkendall over to Haley Hakoski. And now the Red Hawks take the lead back with Hakoski's first points of the night. Yeah. Nice steal by oh, Jazzy Ames. Oh. Oh, they're gonna call oh, it on. Oh wow! They're gonna call it on Raymond. Wow! That is huge. That's gonna be your fourth. Wow, I, man, they might they might not put her back in. I wonder well, if they'll put her back in for the fourth quarter now. Yeah, I mean she's one of their key players. Hayes has it. Thirty on the shot. One point difference. A three by Kurganal. Oh. No good. Hayes will come down with the rebound. <laughs> they have. They can have, dribble it out pretty much. Campbell with three. No good. Mm -hmm. Rebound. Kurganal. Kurganal. Put back. She'll find the basket. There it is. Claire Kirkenall, three-point lead for the Hawks. Out of a nice turn of events. She has nine points on the night. Simone Young, eight seconds left. We'll see what happens. Now under five to go. Raymond for three. No good. And Molly Gates will get the rebound. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Good job by Molly Gates, but <laughs> I mean, four yeah. seconds left on the... Uh, just let the timer run out at that point. I mean, who's going to get a shot off in .4 seconds? You never know, Mason. I, true, but it's catch, shoot, catch, shoot. Uh, young, yeah, that's, yeah, there you that's go. it. And, you know, look over there, number 15. That was, that was Kylie Dorman. They had her as wide open as you could be. <laughs> there, was, there was no one within, like, 10 feet of her. I am really surprised that they didn't see her. But Yeah. Um, we, wow. Yeah, that that was an exciting end of the fourth quarter. And Hawks, they, they trailed most of that quarter. They struggled offensively, but they come up with a three-point lead going into the fourth, 33-30. And it's, um, no team has, I don't think that any team has led by more than 10. East Hampton had the biggest lead with 10 points at like the very, very start of the first quarter. But no one's really led by a very big margin since... Um, just looking at our bookmarks for the quarters, the biggest lead I think was uh, from East Hampton. First quarter, 15 to 10, they had a five point lead. And then it was four points, and now it's three. So we keep getting closer and closer, yeah, Tom. It's, it's been close. And just quickly, before they start the fourth quarter, we'd like to thank our sponsors again tonight. Um, the broadcast is supported by Albert Heating Services. They improve lives one year at a time. You can uh, visit them uh, or call them at 413 774 0100 or visit alberthearing.com. Uh, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. So yeah. two good sponsors, and we're always looking for more. So, you know, contact me or Kevin Murphy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a great game we have here tonight. We knew it would be good, but, I mean, this, this is just really living up to its expectations, Tom. Yeah. So the third quarter ends 33-30 to 30 in the Hawks' favor. We'll go to the fourth here, and uh, Koski over to nice pass ball, uh, ball movement there. Scholar steal over to Kirkenall. Kirkenall over to Haley now. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. That was just unlucky. Oh. Haley, uh, it was funny. Uh, Raymond and uh, the other player down low, pretty much they just stood there yeah. with their hands up, like, I'm well, not going to foul you. Well, I mean, Raymond can't foul her. No. She's got four. Yeah, and if in, in kind of like uh, the other Greenfield game we did, uh, the girls game, once uh, once Frontier pretty much took, uh, what was her name? Um, oh, I know, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Was it? Uh, Bergeron. Amber yes, Bergeron. Addison, yeah. Amber yep. Bergeron. Mm -hmm. once they, oh, Raymond. Oh, man, what a catch. A nice three by Downey. In and out, no good. Ray Raymond will come down oh, with the rebound. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. And that's oh my gotta, God! They're gonna call a travel on that. I mean, both the, she fought her own player for the rebound there, which was unfortunate. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, I would be shaken up after that one. That one, I, yeah, I'm not surprised that she traveled when she hit the ground that hard. That was just really unfortunate collision. Yeah. And 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 what the, uh, the what we were saying though is if Raymond fouls again, she's out of the game, which is huge for the Hawks. Uh, rebound goes to number 12, Grace Papadellas. And up to Raymond now. Raymond, jumper, no good. Eagles having a tough time finding a basket now. Yeah, I feel like uh, East Hampton is also having a tough time getting their offensive rebounds. Oh, man. <laughs> Haley now on the board with four. And quick ball movement down low. Sophia Fajinski with it. Kind of intercepted by Molly Gates, wow. you could say. And going the other way, <laughs> Kirkendall comes down with it. They're pressing her. Haley with it. Haley's going to have to slow it down. Over to Claire. Claire will go to the basket. No foul called. She'll get her own oh, rebound. Come on. And no foul called there. Oh, wow. Raymond comes down with it. <laughs> it's getting really physical. Everyone jamming their hands. Uh, and that's going to be a travel. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and the fans are up behind us, but. <laughs> Wow. You know, I got to say, I have seen a pretty big student section for East Hampton. I haven't heard them, though. And yeah, I mean, they're, like, they're, they're on the other they're they on the are on, side. They are on the other side, but when things have been going East Hampton's way, I haven't heard a lot, you know? I mean, th this is, this is going to come really down to the wire. I mean, it's a close game, and like we said earlier, Mason, def defense is what's going to determine who wins this game. Yeah. Hawks up by five, 35-30. Hayes over to Kirkendall now. Kirkenall finds Hayes. Hayes will drive out to Haley. Now Haley will drive <laughs> and gets a little tripped oh. up. And you, can, we heard her yell Harper because I think Harper Modesto wasn't isn't wasn't in the right spot where yeah. the play was. She got out of position, and I mean, it. You know, things like that happen. But in a close game like that, it's a five-point game. You can't afford for that to happen. You need to take every chance you can get. Yep. And I'm not sure who called the timeout, but I this think it, we actually, this scoreboard is great. I love the scoreboard because it shows out how many timeouts each team has left. Yeah. And so Frontier took that timeout. Oh, uh, yeah. And we'll take the break this time. Yeah. You're watching Frontier <laughs> Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Scores 35-30 with 5, uh, 47 left to go here in the – All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alber, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts, and Tyler Walkowitz here tonight at an away game at the East Hampton Gym. All right, so looks like Skylar Steele is playing man defense on uh, Kaylee Downey because they do not want her to score. Downey will have the ball, though. <laughs> 5.30 to Ooh. go. A shot. No good. Rebound will go to Hukoski. She's got a lot of those tonight and at least has five. Kirkenall up to Hayes. Hayes will oh, shoot. come on. No. Oh. That, I think that's the right call there, but it could have <laughs> kind of gone, gone either way, but yeah, definitely. Looks like Jazzy will check out. Um, She's getting some well-deserved applause. I mean, she's done a lot for this team in the third quarter and in the rest of the game. Yeah, and she's one of the scrappy players. And nice move there by Simone Young, I think. Yep. She'll, she has eight on the night, and that's going to put it within three. 35-32 with five minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. She's been having a great performance as well, Tom. You know, really putting a lot of points on the board and also just, you know, trying as many shots as she can take. Oh, man. Steal, deep three. Haley comes down with the rebound. I, how is that not called a foul? <laughs> wow. And, uh, you know, this that that could change the game right there. 4.35 to go. Simone Young blocked by Haley. Oh, man. And now uh, number 10, Addison Barr will take a three. No good rebound. Fajinski and Haley, as well as Claire, all there. But that should... 
I feel like that should have gone to Frontier. Just the way that they, you know, they go back and forth. I'm pretty sure that it was Frontier's turn up, but yeah. And one thing as well as you were mentioning, Simone Young, she has made five out of six of her three throw shots. Yeah. So. That show. I mean, to me, that shows discipline and yeah. dedication. And number ten, uh, Bar with it now. Kaylee Downey. She'll go to the basket. Shot. Count it, Mason. Wow. Twelve points on the night for Kaylee Downey. That'll put it. it the reach within one now. Hawks only lead by one. They really need to put something together on uh, this possession right now, and I think that Mashawn might be the person to look at. Yep. Oh, intercepted pass right in front of us almost. They were trying to get it to her, though. She had some good movement along the baseline, open to the corner for an instant, but just didn't quite happen fast enough. 356, 35 34, Mason. Again, this will come down to the wire, and an intercepted pass. Kirkenell comes away with Whoa. it, though. Haley, nice give and go. Oh, come on. Haley with six on the night now. Are you kidding me? Three point lead for the Hawks. We'll see what happens here. And Kaylee Downey will slow it down. And I don't know why Pavadellis didn't take that. Yeah. She had all the time in the world. Simone Young, this is a little good ball movement. Simone Young, I think that was a travel, but. Oh, what a save, but Michonne's there. Who saved that, do you know? That was Papadellis. She's all over the court right now. So Kurgnall will slow it down with 3.20 left to go. Only a three-point lead. Haley with it. She'll drive. Shot. No good. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I said no good, but I, I didn't mean to say that. I meant good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And now I think, yeah, that's the first time out that East Hampton is going to take with 3.11 to go in the game. Frontier's starting to pull away. They now have a five-point lead. One of the biggest leads we've seen them have in this whole game. And man, oh man, it's one yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one thing we can mention though is Christine Raymond, if she does foul, she's out of the game. And I don't think she was out there um, in this past couple of minutes. So Yeah, they had like a different uh, shift going out for her. They subbed her out, I think, uh, during um, some break that happened, uh, maybe when it went out of bounds. But I mean, she did play for the start of the fourth quarter. You got to hand it to her. She was doing a good job uh, doing, playing some clean basketball for the time that she was out on the court, staying in the game. Unfortunately, she just wasn't really, you know, putting up any successful shots. Yeah. She, she put up a couple, but none of them really went. We'll see what happens here. I mean, yeah. you know, again, this is the saying of the night. I mean, it's going to come down to the wire, really. Yeah. I mean, it, who wants it more is the better question, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And the one thing I do want to say, the, the biggest thing that Frontier cannot afford to do right now is give East Hampton a bonus because you know if you foul, I mean, Simone Young, for example, you foul her, she goes to the line, she's going to make baskets, she's going to make you pay for it. Yeah. And Young, interception, almost oh. two players hit the ground. They almost got up at the same time, but uh, shot by Downey, no good, or Papadellis. And that's going to be a foul. I'm not sure who it was on, but I think that might have been on Papadellis. And that will be the first foul this quarter. So Yeah. Oh, no, that's going to be on Simone Young. And that, that'll be her first, right? Yep. yep. 240 to go pretty much. Kirkendall will have it. Kirkendall. Over to Modesto. Nice oh, post man. move. Nice. Wow. What a pass. Harper Modesto with eight on the night. Young with it now, 41-34. And a two by Downey, or Bob Adels. Bob 41-36, yes. go ahead. And that was a two. I, I was looking at the ref to see him hold up two fingers, yeah. but. They got, they got to slow it down. Mashan over to Kirkendall. Back to Mashan now, Mashan. Back to Kirkendall. <laughs> Little give and go. And Mashan loses it, but she'll take control of it. 15 on the shot clock, steal with it. Two minutes left to go. Almost 10. Sh deep three by. Oh my Mashawn! God! What? What? Wow. And, and another a, time. Oh my called. God. Mashawn with the dagger there as Mason erupts. 44-36. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Man, oh man. We haven't seen a lot of Lynn Mashawn tonight, but. That, that was a whole lot of net is what that was. <laughs> yep. She, that was a really deep three, and she, took, she let that one fly. And uh, 
Yeah. Wow. I, I, you know, wow. 151 to go, 43-36. We'll see what the, the coaches draw up here. And uh, Yeah. I mean, it's it's starting to get a little bit out of range for East Hampton if they don't cha- uh, switch things around pretty quickly. Yeah. And, and, again, you know, this game has huge complications come playoffs time. I mean, these two teams – are fighting for whoever wins this, you know, it, it could, it has big factors in yeah. playoffs. I mean, Frontier only has, I think, three games left, including this one. So, yeah, I think so here. We, they have, they have three games after this yeah. one. So, and uh, two of them are actually in, in conference games. Yeah, Lennox which are and even Palmer, bigger. Which Lennox is, yeah, that's going to be a huge one. That's the next game. And we're going to be there to cover it. Um, senior night. Yeah. Tuesday night. Come out and support the girls. 145 pretty much to go here. Simone Young. Nice easy basket. You could tell she was going right to the oh, lane yeah. there. She's it was there the whole way for her. And she's got 10 on the night now. And now Kirkendall will slow it down. And uh, hopefully you can still hear us. We have some technical I think issues. That, yes. Uh Kirkendall will have it. Kirkendall will have it at the top of the key. Now Jashan for a oh, corner three, on. no good. Oh. Coming down with the rebound, 115 to go. I'm not sure what, what. Mashan with a steal though, on the other end of the court. Oh. It's interesting that right at the end of the game, shot no good. Sofia Fajinski gets fouled with 101 to go. That's um, what I was saying, it's not what you want to have happen. I mean, hopefully, you guys can still hear us. I think that they can. I'm seeing the audio readings. Yeah. yeah so hopefully everything is all right on our end. But yeah, a we, minute 101 to go, and these are huge vital. And oh throws. man, Modesto. Was that her, her it, foul? It says fifth. I have her only. I have her down for only four, but. I could be miscounted. And now we have the video up and working. We apologize for the yep. technical difficulties there. But um, now uh, there's going to be a timeout taken by the Red Hawks. Yeah, and they only have one left, so. Um, yeah. You know, this this is really going to come down to the wire. I think there there's only about a minute left. Um, Just a little bit over a minute, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unfortunate that we, 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 we had a, couple, a little technical issue. But the, yeah. it's, it's all right. And, uh, you know. We'll, uh, we'll uh, quickly thank our sponsor, Mason. Uh, Albert Hearing Services in Greenfield offers hearing evaluations, hearing aid sales, earwax removal, and more. They're committed to improving lives one year at a time. Call 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. Uh, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. So 44-38, Mason, and, you know, it's not out of reach, but no, it's de- it definitely isn't. I six point game, three twos or two threes, you know, and at the line right now is Fajinski, who can make it, you know, who can shorten the lead very very easily. They've been pretty good at the free throw line yeah. so far. What are we looking at, Tom? Uh, she's one or uh, three for five, so because she had an and one play in there. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah. So she'll miss her first. And this this one, she kind of needs to make here. She'll make it, yep. Mm-hmm. So interesting quarter four. I mean, Molly Gates, the press is broken. Haley will have it. Haley will slow it down over to Claire. Claire. And Michonne will take his, Coach Michonne will take final timeout. Yeah, final, yeah. I mean, I'm not. He he, th- he sounded a little upset, but I, I I'm not sure exactly why. But, yeah, um, maybe someone was out of position on the press breaker. Possibly. I mean, we we're looking at 50 seconds left in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let's see, five point game. That yeah, what I, do you, I do have to say that free throw from Fajinski could potentially be a huge game changer. Yeah, yeah. Because now because now we got. Odds against evens, you know, and that can, that can really yep. that can put you up by one, two threes, and, and that's bada bing, bada boom. The Eagles are right on top. <laughs> yeah. Instead of a tie game, now they could have the lead in the same fashion. But 
Yeah. I, I, the, the good thing is both teams are not in any foul trouble. I mean, they that's only true. have one each. So. Yeah, I mean, that the other thing that's good about that for the Eagles is they have the opportunity to uh, stall the clock uh, if need be, which I imagine they will do yeah. at a certain point by fouling the Red Hawks. So I'm, I'm doing the math with 52.6 seconds and 20 sec 26 seconds on the shot clock, and uh, Haley will inbound it right in front of us. Right so. in front of us, yeah. It's... This is definitely a new perspective for us. We got it. it's it's very fun. <laughs> it's all right. It, new gym for us. I mean, yeah. other than when we came and did the uh, quarterfinal last year when these yeah. two played in the playoffs, and instantly fouled by number five, and they're getting the foul game a little bit. No number early that she was on a JV. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> they might have. You know what? They might have put her in there specifically to. Foul, foul yeah. yeah. Which is an interesting, I haven't seen that before. Molly, yeah, good inbound by Molly Gates. And number 12 will pick up another foul. Grace Papadellis will pick up the foul there. <laughs> and Haley will inbound it again in front of us. So That took only about four seconds off the, the game yeah. clock. So. Two and quick fouls. I mean, once Frontier gets into bonus, Yep. They got it. They got to start making those shots. They haven't been the best about uh, making free throws tonight, but um, you know, at this point, those making those free throws—that's the dagger I, in, in the heart of this game. I, I don't know if anyone has made a foul shot for front. Maybe Haley's made one. I think they've made one. Yeah, Haley will have it. They got a foul. Number five tried to, and Grace Papadopoulos will pick up another foul. Yeah. So I, I think she has two now, if she, two quick fouls. I don't think that they've actually been putting them up, but now Frontier with the bonus, and Kirkendall really needs to make these to start to put the game out of reach for the Eagles. Yeah, it's good to have Claire at the three throw line. And she, there yeah. You go. Just like that, Mason, I mean. Now it's back to a six point game. If, if she can make this one, you know, it's not over, but. They got to make seven points in 40.8 seconds. Yeah. And number five will bring it up. And Kaylee Downey will have it. Downey out to number five. She'll take a three. No good. Shot clock's off. And I, I, wow. I, I, the one thing I don't like about this, you know, the, the, the way they're playing is um, that you have to go for the ball. That's the one thing. I mean, yeah. I, you know, so, but. 26.5 seconds, 46.39. It's not over, but it, yeah, it, it, it's. I think it's. You can. We can say it's. It's out of reach now. <laughs> I, I think that if Akoski can make these free throws right here, it, I definitely can say that. I ah. missed that first one, but you know, I. The reason why I'm hesitating to say that is that three ball from number five was a little bit scary because that that cuts the lead almost in half. And I mean, they they're just gonna get. Yep. Yeah. So Haley will make one for two there, and they got to play some quick basketball and foul quickly. Number yeah. five with it. Now it's uh, uh, Downey with it. Oh, oh wow. Molly Gates. Pretty much they can just dribble it out now. And yeah, I, th I think I think that'll be it. Yep. Kirkenau will dribble it out. East. Yep. Yep. They're gonna dribble. Well, let man, oh man. Oh man. Oh. Simone Young tried to foul there, but they're not. The rest aren't going to call that one. Okay. So Frontier, they come into the Eagles gym, and they're going to win 47-39, Mason. You know, they get this is a revenge game. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm really glad that Frontier comes away with the win, and this is huge in the standings, standing wise. They'll move up a couple of uh, spot or two, I think, you know. I, I think that they will. Um, they won't, I mean – East Hampton was previously below them in uh, the standings already. But I think that the big thing that we need to be talking about right now is their performance in the fourth quarter. You look at the scores and only the scores. Yep. East Hampton only scored nine points in the fourth quarter. Wow. Yeah, that is. That is yeah. Wow. You're Meanwhile, right. Frontier scored 14. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a relatively low scoring game for the most part. But, you know, you take that into consideration. An outstanding performance by the girls' team, and I gotta tell you, I mean, 
vengeance is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, you know, I think the refs tonight, they did an excellent job. You know, all things considered. I mean, it was yeah. a very physical game. Two very good teams going head-to-head. -head. And, um, you know, Frontier, they come away with the win, 47-39. They move to 14-2 and two on the season. So, yeah, that's and huge. Now this puts them in a great place to face off against a really strong team, Lennox, who beat them by only one point the last time they faced. They're going to face them on Tuesday, you said, right? Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be playing them on Tuesday Senior night. at home. Senior night for the girls. Show up to that. We're going to be there to cover it. It's going to be a great game. And now Frontier on a six-game win streak going into that pivotal it, game against Lennox. And, and you know, another close game, they, they have some – Tough opponents left, and uh, before we kind of wrap up here, they have Lennox, uh, Palmer, and uh, West Springfield. You know, I'm not sure what their record is. They did Frontier West did Springfield. Beat them. West Springfield, uh, we, we beat them a little while ago. Yeah. That was a bigger win for us. 41. However, Palmer, we only beat them by two. That yep. was a 45-43 game. Yeah, we covered so, that game. Yeah, um, both Lennox and Palmer going to be some close games, and we'll see what happens with West Springfield, but. Lennox and Palmer are the big ones. They're in conference games, really good teams, and they're great tests for this really strong uh, Red Hawks team that is now 14 and 2 on the season and in great position for Western Mass and then States right after that. Yeah, we're see seeing a little technical difficulties right now. Hopefully, you're able to hear us. But um, Ben Roberts doing his, his magic over there to try to fix it. <laughs> um, we'll quickly recap the scores. You, you know, uh, big uh, Simone Young, she's got 10 on the night. Kaylee Downey's got 12. Grace Papadellos had four. Sophia Vajinsky had 11, I think, or 12. Um, and, you know, on the other side, Claire Kirkendall had nine. Skylar Steele had eight. Harper Modesto had eight. Liv Michon had five, and uh, a nice three in there as well, I remember. Uh, Haley oh, yeah. Koski had I think at least five rebounds, or if not way more than that. <laughs> yeah. And she had eight points on the night. Molly Gates had two. There we go. Jazzy Hayes had four. And Frontier, you know, they come into East Hampton, which is a revenge game because they lost to them the, uh, when we covered that game. So, you know, any final thoughts, Mason, as Frontier comes away with the win? I think that it was a very much-needed win. I mean, uh, they're already in a uh, great place for uh, the playoffs, but – you know, a win right now is a really crucial for their momentum moving into uh, the game against Lennox um, and being able to progress farther into the season, you know, keeping that win streak going. They, they had an eight-game win streak, interrupt by only two losses, and now they're hitting that win streak again, hitting that stride. If they can continue that until the end of this regular season and then into the playoffs, I'm seeing a lot of success for this team. Yeah, yep, and I think with this team, you know, with the playoffs There's, yeah. it's come, we're getting closer and closer oh, yeah. Mason you know pretty much they they've only got you know the boys team has a couple more games on the season than the girls do right now but mm. the they only have three left after the win tonight so yeah we're boys, gonna yeah they, go ahead <laughs> yeah we're, we're, we're gonna quick you know and any, any other final thoughts before we fully wrap up <laughs> show up to senior night yes it's, it's gonna be great uh, they're going to announce the theme soon and, you know, come out, support the two seniors, Molly Gates, Haley Akoski. They do a lot of great work for this team, and they're also pretty awesome. So Yeah, hey, they're, yeah. they're pretty good. They're <laughs> the two captains on the team, and, you know, with that, so uh, for the final time, it was Tom Alber, Mason Smith, Ben Roberts, and Tyler Walkwitz. Great game tonight. Uh, Frontier comes away at the win, and we'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, and then the broadcast. Tonight's broadcast is supported by Albert Hearing Services. Albert Hearing Services in Greenfield offers healing evaluations, hearing aid sales, EROX removal, and more. They're committed to improving lives one year at a time. Call 413-774-0100 or visit alberthearing.com, uh, as well as Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We'll see you guys next time on Tuesday night, hopefully, and tomorrow night as well. Game, boys game, be there. Yes. Be square. <laughs>